The world's most trafficked mammal is one you've never heard of, the pangolin. We're going to follow one of these animals and live a day in the life of a white-bellied pangolin, immersing ourselves into its daily life and some important information regarding this endangered species. The Phytagenus tricuspis, also known as the tree pangolin and the white-bellied pangolin, is an endangered species according to the IUCN Red List. Its relatives in the Manadei family of pangolins include the Chinese pangolin, Indian pangolin, and Philippine pangolin. White-bellied pangolins start their day in tropical Africa, living in the terrestrial forest ecosystem and spending time in moist tropical lowland forests or dense woodlands. The tropical forest gives pangolins plenty of trees to climb, being semi-arboreal creatures, and coverage. The terrestrial forest is characterized by its humid temperatures, frequent rainfall, and heated atmosphere. Additionally, aiding the pangolins' coverage and survival are the forest's dense trees, insects, and other animals like pangolin predators. Starting the day in the ever-fluctuating temperatures of the terrestrial forests, this pangolin's internal body temperature seems unaffected. This is because white-bellied pangolins are homeothermic and endothermic creatures, which make them able to maintain a constant body temperature through the ever-changing environmental temperatures. This pangolin must find food on an empty stomach, and being a carnivorous consumer, this white-bellied pangolin is off to find insects. These pangolins are notoriously picky eaters, so nothing foreign is up for the pangolin's long, sticky tongue to pick up. Instead, this pangolin is using its claws to dig into anthills or termite homes to ingest these species alive. Watch as this pangolin picks up a few rocks along its meal. It isn't because rocks are on the menu, but rather because they have no teeth and require rocks to aid in digestion. Along with rocks in their gizzard, this white-bellied pangolin also has keratin spines that jut into the gizzard, which crush up the live insects they just consumed. This white-bellied pangolin sticks its snout into this anthill, unaffected by all of the large ants crawling on its body. This is because its hard outer scales made of keratin protect the pangolin's body from harm. In this case, it protects the pangolin from being bitten by ants. Being so focused on eating, these scales also come in handy when facing a predator. If any animal decides to pounce on this pangolin eating its meal, it can curl into a ball, which makes the scales face outward and protects its face under its tail. This pangolin journeys alone and eats alone because it is typically a solitary animal except during mating season. Looks like it's around May to July since this pangolin is urinating on different spots in this forest advertises availability to female pangolins and mating season usually lasts 3-5 to five days. Females, on the other hand, give birth to one or sometimes two pango pups at a time, who stay with the mother for six months. They cling to their mother's tail for the first few weeks, and by five weeks old, they are ready to live on their own. The mother defends her pango pup by rolling up around the cub and spraying a defensive and foul-smelling liquid towards predators. By eating ants and termites, pangolins actually play an important role in regulating insect populations and preventing overpopulation. White-bellied pangolins' diet of termites prevents forests from termite destruction and maintains a balanced ecosystem. When digging for insects and creating underground dens, pangolins help the soil's nutrients fluctuate, aerating the soil and increasing plant germination. Being keystone species, pangolins are important to maintaining the ecosystem. Pangolins are the most trafficked animals in the world. International trade of pangolins for commercial use is illegal, but black market demand is high in Asian countries such as China and Vietnam for their luxury meat and scales for traditional medicine use. And with the four species of Asian pangolins becoming increasingly rare, there is growing demand for the more common white-bellied pangolins in Africa. Nigeria has emerged as a globally significant hub for illegal trafficking, reporting more than 190,000 kilograms of scale seizures in the past decade. Due to the rising illegal trafficking in Africa, the white-bellied pangolins' conservation status has elevated from least concern in 1996 to endangered in 2008. With the awareness of pangolin endangerment, there are many species conservation efforts to stop the killing, trafficking, and demand for pangolins. Technology is one of the factors that increases illegal trafficking. So, to combat poaching, wildlife organizations team up with tech companies to improve wildlife policies, train enforcement staff against trafficking, enhance detection systems, and educate users. Some of the characteristics of the white-bellied pangolin make it prone to endangerment. Their slow reproductive rate, being one to three offspring every two years, means that the population can't rebound easily from being poached at such a high rate. Additionally, the defensive behavior of rolling to a ball when threatened is not effective against humans. Their scales act as a shield from predators biting and scratching, but poachers can simply pick them up and brutally beat them. Scales as a defensive structure also play a role in their endangerment because the scales cannot be regrown if lost, so they are left completely vulnerable without them. 
white bellied pangolin populations have decreased by 40% over the past 21 years. In addition, the majority of traffic pangolins are the white bellied pangolin. In a research paper, 88.5% of the pangolin scale seizures in Hong Kong were found to be of the white bellied pangolin. Overall, based on the population's current downward trend and characteristics, the white bellied pangolin population will continue to decrease in the near future and will likely go extinct without additional conservational efforts. The extinction of penguins could be threatening to the ecosystem, hurting soil quality and changing the terrain where native plants can live. This is because white-bellied penguins' appetite for insects is crucial to avoid overpopulation and harmful destruction to the trees in the African ecosystems. On top of that, while digging for their food, these penguins also aerate soil, which circulates the nutrients within. It is important for these creatures to remain a stable population in order for the ecosystem to remain balanced. Tree penguins or white belly penguins are a very important species to the terrestrial forest ecosystem. It is crucial that these species do not become extinct despite their increasing rate of endangerment. You can help stop the poaching of these animals by spreading awareness, stressing the importance of saving this endangered species before it is too late. You can also donate to or join multiple trustworthy organizations dedicated to saving all of the endangered pangolins, not just the white-bellied ones, such as SaveThePangolins.org, the World Wildlife Fund, and more. With your help, we can save the white-bellied pangolins, just like the one we are following now, from extinction. As we end the day with this white-bellied pangolin, we see that he has returned to sleep as he has found his food and explored.